afternoon and thanks for joining us here right here on Midday Kentucky for the Monday after mm -hmm. Christmas Day. How are you both? Good. Nice to be back to work. I know a you, lot of people are still off today, so maybe this still one relax. worked all they weekend. Watch, yes. You oh. went away. I was in Ohio. Yes, that was gorgeous. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. How was your Christmas? Mine was absolutely beautiful. I'm asking you that because I want to segue into my topic. <laughs> He's asking <laughs> us because he wants us to ask him. Yes. yes. <laughs> How was your Christmas? Mine Troy? was fantastic. <laughs> First time here in <laughs> Lexington, Kentucky for Christmas. I'm sad it wasn't a white one. No. But uh. I went to the next best thing. You know, I did a story this week on the First Baptist Church of Winchester. Mm -hmm. I've got a little video to show you what I did on Christmas Day over oh, there at the First Baptist Church. Let's have a listen. So Miss Rhonda, one of our producers here at the studio, invited me over. We did the story this week, as mm -hmm. you know. I cannot tell you how amazing it is to go there. I got a little teary. I got a little bit overwhelmed with the yep. with Heavenly mm. Father pouring his love over me on Christmas Day. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And all that singing and all that praising and all that, everything that they do there, I took this next picture of this gorgeous little baby that was sitting Aww. right Aww. beside me. Is that so just sweet. slept through the whole thing? That's the beautiful. whole thing. So Every cute. now and then she'd put her hand up as if she could feel Heavenly Father touching her in her sleep. But I have to tell you, the best morning I've had in oh, many years. Good. I think mm. I saw you dancing up in the front <laughs> row. Yeah. Is that you? We're, we're going to give you a few months, but I want to <laughs> see you come March. I'm going again this okay. Sunday. Good. I cannot tell you nice. how amazing it is. <laughs> so I then tweeted a friend of mine. They said, oh, you'll have to go to our Baptist church. I'm going to be going to every different Baptist church in this county Spread like the love. tomorrow. Talented. Spread the love. Singing like no tomorrow. <laughs> hey. You oh, being so I have Jewish, some pictures you have some being, pictures. Yep. Being home. First, I wanted to show you, well, let's see which pictures come okay. up first, <laughs> and I'll, I'll describe them to you. So I was home in Ohio. Um, I tried to wrap up my dad's cat so that it could be <laughs> my present. Um, he didn't let me take it with him, so that was kind of sad. My dad just got married, so I got him these wine glasses, Mr. and Mrs. with the Santa hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but so we're a blended family. We do Christmas and Hanukkah, and we have this tradition where we make an edible menorah every year. Last year we made it out of banana bread, but it was too delicious, and we ate it before the candles mm -hmm. burned out. So this year we made it out of potatoes, and this is a plate <laughs> we brought back from Israel. So I love that. That's and what we made this of year. Of course, <laughs> most people know. Uh, well, if you don't know, um, the Jewish celebration around Christmas time is you eat Chinese food. Oh yeah. So then the yesterday <laughs> we had Chinese, but it was kind of a fun year because the first night of Hanukkah was Christmas Eve, so we had yeah. a lot of friends over, a lot of people celebrating every holiday. Isn't so it's always great? fun just to get everyone it. together. And it's great. Cool. your big day starts today. <laughs> today, your family that's gets right. Uh, mom, dad, brother, sister-in-law, and my sister and brother-in-law all coming down. First time there in Lexington. Well, my parents have been here before. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a nice Christmas dinner tonight. But my favorite part of the weekend was Christmas Eve. Dinner with my guy. Oh, yeah. uh, isn't that nice? Hey, how about said that? that? Yeah. How I sweet. <laughs> I didn't think I'm you'd that bring that forgettable. up. That forgettable. No, not yeah. at all. Romance. I didn't mean it that way. No, we had a we nice. had a very nice time. We did. It was nice. I noticed mm -hmm. you overlooked it in, your, in the highlights of your weekend, though. Yes, <laughs> no, I didn't <laughs> want to make it all about TT, which uh, is unusual, I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't worry, I'll set I'll set you up. Okay, okay. thank you. Well, let me take you into this beautiful story that I found in Australia. After ten years of saving, two brothers have gifted their mother her dream car as a token of their appreciation. Daniel and Aww. Jason from. Wollongong in Sydney shared a video in an Instagram post surprising their mother with her dream car. Take a look. New car. Well, they've got a push button that's coming out. There's something in there. No, 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 no. Stay young. No. Have a look. No. Oh, no. No, you can't do this. Yeah, no. that's yours. No, no, no yeah. not again. No. You know what I thought was really gorgeous is the mother who's a wonderful Aww. mother in the story to her two gorgeous sons. They saved, they didn't get a loan for this car, they saved for 10 years, put the money away each week. She's a single mum. And, you know, some people could say BMW is a little bit excessive, but it's something that the kids wanted to show off mm -hmm. for themselves. That's and I just great. thought, you know Aww, what, that's isn't so that gorgeous? Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's always about, about you could tell how in shock she is by okay. the whole gesture. And do you know what yeah. I find so funny is people say to me, do you have an Australian accent? And they expect me to sound like that, like those guys. Did you hear that the way they were sounding? They sounded more British to me. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, there goes that little segment. I, I didn't know. I think it's well, obvious that you have an Australian if, accent. Really? <laughs> if it's possible to rerun the video, if we could do that, maybe I, if I get a second listen to it, uh, okay. I could maybe just. It's probably it. not going to happen just yeah. yet. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to your well, so, story. So staying in the Christmas spirit, this was my favorite feel-good story of the week. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, uh, oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to ruin your story, Love Actually. Oh, that's I'm my sorry. favorite. Yeah. Mm. What's yours? Well, probably a Christmas story, the, oh, the okay. classic, but Elf, a, a strong oh, second Elf favorite. Good. A Elf what? is good. Elf? I've never heard so of here's that. a real life Love Actually story. The Twitter verse comes to life. So a girl um, in England takes a picture on the subway. She's heading to the airport, and there is a guy holding a big thing of mistletoe. There he is, heading to the airport with nothing else, no luggage, nothing. So she snaps a picture, tweets it, and says some love, love actually stuff mm -hmm. is about to happen. And it's retweeted thousands and thousands of times. And people are speculating what happened. Did he get shot down at the airport? Are they in love and getting married? No one knows. So again, it's retweeted thousands and thousands of times. Eventually, the man who sees it, oh, quite the cliffhanger, <laughs> sees that he's gone viral on Twitter. And then he responds, posting this picture we will show you of him. He was picking up his girlfriend Aww. at the airport. Aww. She accepted the mistletoe. They smooched and were reunited for Christmas. That's good. That's a nice <laughs> I story. I love that story. You get a but lot of points. Yeah. I have to say, that Love Actually movie is an amazing oh, movie. Oh, it's so good. We don't have, like, you know, we were talking the carolers and yeah. those Christmas movies like You All Do in America. Mm. I, I do want to sit down one year and watch that A Christmas Story. Oh, that's the classic. I yeah. mean, everyone knows that one. Well, we but see them in the movies, but don't see it. We don't watch them in America. Okay, in but can we backtrack and address the fact that you've never seen Elf with Will Ferrell? No. I went to an Orange Theory class this weekend, and there was a guy dressed as Buddy the Elf Perfect. the entire class. He I'm should. not kidding. It was amazing. There are so it could many be a little bit creepy. So it many was, but it was great. <laughs> so many good who you are. <laughs> hey, you are? I got this one for you. Not that okay. I'm saying that you've got tattoos mm -hmm. or anything like that. Do you have tattoos? I, I'm clean. You do, oh, you're a clean boy. Uh, good. I'm not opposed to them. Oh, but okay. I, for the moment. All right, well, okay. here's something very interesting for you. <laughs> Women have long been wary of dating bulky men with tattoos, but new research has confirmed that suspicions have found those with body art are more likely to cheat on you. A study asked 2,500 heterosexual men and women to give their thoughts on of pictures and topless men. Now, men considered those who had tattoos as more attractive than their counterparts who have one who, sorry, who didn't have one. The study found but tattooed men were considered less attractive by some women with a Polish, let me just say, mm. this was done in Poland, okay? okay. Study published by, in the journal, Personality and Individual Differences Found, despite linking to that tattooed men. Well, that's, with a, big that's an interesting choice for tattoos. I, I wanted to show chaos. you this, okay. It's like from one extreme. I, <laughs> I actually think tattoos could be sexy on guys. I'm not sure about a tattoo on a, on a, on a woman. That's very sexist. Mm. I know that is, but I also, let me say, we have to remember tattoos are forever, unless you have the laser to have it removed. Right. And I couldn't imagine being this, you know, Dennis, Dennis Rodman at 80 mm. and have those tattoos all over. They don't all over. age well, but if it has meaning, and it means that much that you want to Well, I think a number or something like that, maybe, or your mother's name. Okay. Or but why on men, not women? I just don't think it looks great on women. It's just, that's I'm just totally me, and you can email and slap me, but... You know? I don't know. This is where you know. plug the Facebook mm. page, too. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, email on Facebook, everyone. <laughs> yeah. hey. Be sure to like the page while you're there. <laughs> yeah.